thank you very very much mr joseph <coughs> a very good afternoon everybody i am dr shibbi ramasmani i am the joint secretary to the government of bangladesh i am working in the health service division ministry of health and family welfare government of the people's republic of bangladesh i will present a bangladesh update towards the 2030 road map first of all i would like to express my gratitude and heartfelt thanks to the organizer especially gt fcc to organize wonderful events really i am happy to here and join uh, to um, join here really i will appreciate you and again congratulate you before i go i am going to my topics just i take few seconds you know the bangladesh is the populous country in the world i am i am mentioned because i am working last three years in covid 19 management and vaccination coverage in bangladesh you know the bangladesh is the first in covid covid 19 vaccination coverage in the first place in asian countries and uh, in the globally fifth position in the world so cholera is not a problem for our country though it is endemic in, in our country due, due to 170 million people in bangladesh our mortality rate is very very insignificant you know everyone so it's not a problem we are in together and in uh, work together and in the cholera inshallah in 2023 uh, 2030 so before i going to my presentation already i told the bangladesh is the eight populous country in the world about 170 million people in the bangladesh and bangladesh is endemic bangladesh is a endemic in cholera though one 0.64 per thousand population our annual incidence rate and about 4 lakhs 50 thousand peoples patients are admitted into the hospital per year and more than 1 million infection per year already i told the mortality rate is very insignificant uh, in yearly it is a biannual peak one peak is march to april and second peak is september and to october in our country you know the bangladesh is a vulnerable country for the cholera because we are we are facing some natural disaster like cyclones floods <laughs> you know the climate changes everyone river networks from himalayas and also you have a bay of bengal from the southern region of the country and also already i told the populous density huge population i repeat urbanization and also ongoing urban migration so we develop government of the bangladesh develop a strategic plan for cholera control and prevention in 2019 for the 2030 and uh, what is lead by the ministry of health health service health service division ministry of health and family welfare and our implementing authority is dghs especially in cdc and our focal point is dr anindo already you know all of them all mr anindo and also we are contributing agency our local government because you know that it is cholera is a multi sectoral program a uh, problem it's not only controlled by the health ministry it's a multi sectoral uh, problem so we we are involved with multi sectoral department in our country especially local government department of public health engineering uh, south city corporation uh, ic ddrb and also some developing partners like unicef water aid and who so uh, these are the our um, plan we have s some achievements and also key achievements so first of all we developed a clinical management guideline and flowchart for the food and waterborne disease control 
And these guidelines are distributed to all the health facilities all over the country, health facilitators, because the, our doctors are this is flow chart are hang into the, their offices, and during the um, uh, decision making, they follow the, this guideline. And also, already you know the mapping of hotspot to for cholera in Bangladesh, based on GTFC guideline already completed, and also RDT testing protocol has been developed based on GTFC guideline. National training for. Stati uh, uh, statistician, medical officers, and nurses on the update, acute water diarrhea, cholera testing protocol, and updated diarrheal reporting template. About 1,295 healthcare workers, both including male and female, in 34 bases across the country were trained. Conducted OCB campaign at Bhashancho reaching more than 28,000 FDM. And you know the FDM is our main problem, very challenging problem in our, bang, in our country. Because in 2017, from Myanmar, you know Myanmar displaced forces. About in that time, about more than 7 lakhs are FDM and are, we, are, we are shelter those peoples. Now they are expanding more than 10 lakhs. So we have a big challenge for the government of Bangladesh. So we, we, have, we have conducted OCB campaign in the FDMN. And hygiene promotion was held for members of the WASH cluster with an aim to strengthening the capacity of relevant WASH sector specialists in Bangladesh. And also periodic update on the progress and challenges in the implementation of NCCP to the core working group. Uh, these are the success factors. And stakeholder dashboard has been developed in close coordination with WASH cluster. More than 40 organizations responded. We have, of course, we have some challenges and also way of forward. The challenges, first challenge is lack of adequate financing. These are the main our challenges in our country to control the cholera control in 2030. So, and second one is insufficient quantities of OCB vaccine, and third one is strong collaboration with the wash sector. Now, how we can uh, overcome this, uh, the, these problems. The government of Bangladesh, our, we have a uh, fifth sector plan, that is SP and SP. We include the one components in our operating uh, operation plan, cholera control, in among governments of Bangladesh in case the allocation for the control of, for this purpose. And also, I, Honest request to the, our development partners and uh, donors to raise the allocation, to raise the fund, to control the cholera control. And also, we need already our Napoleon uh, Namki. Already, Obishek said that we need 100 million doses cholera vaccine in Bangladesh. So <laughs> I only request to increase the doses in, in next year for the Bangladesh. And also, again, I thanks to organizer. Thus, lastly, I, I hand over my microphone to the Dr. Anindo. And finally, thank you all. Together, we can end cholera. Thank you so much. Uh, sorry, we won't take much time. Uh, just, <laughs> I think it's not finished yet. Yeah. Sorry, where did it went? This one? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. 
Uh, yeah, we. Uh, I think uh, Sar highlighted already the uh, things we did in last one year. Actually, these are all the activities that we have done in last one year, and the challenges we are facing. So I just wanted to show you our uh, hotspot mapping, and uh, you can see you have uh, categorized it according to the risk and uh, very high and high risk units. These are sub district administrative units, and uh, 53 sub district. Uh, units are uh, categorized as very high and 91 as high. Uh, and uh, altogether, these two categories have more than uh, about 50 million population. So you can see the map, and it's uh, actually uh, spread all over the country. So the challenges already are mentioned. Uh, I just I just want to supplement him that the, all the activities that we have done is all from government funding mostly, uh, apart from the vaccination, of course, which will need funding continuously. But uh, all the activities we have done from the government funding, and hopefully from the next sector program, we'll have some more funding for the diarrhea control program. Uh, basically, now it is a combined program with AMR and hepatitis. But next sector program, uh, we already proposed, and hopefully we'll receive that. We'll have a separate separate diarrhea control program with separate uh, uh, good amount of funding. So some more things will be, be able to done uh, by us, uh, thanks, thankfully. And uh, obviously, the collaboration uh, was needed. So the priorities of for uh, next one year, hopefully, uh, the next annual meeting will be able to share these things that we have done it. But uh, what are the priorities? The first priority is obviously the multi-year plan for preventive OCV campaign. We have discussed this already. We are already, uh, just before coming here, we had a multi-stakeholder meeting. And we, uh, we plan to do this within the next two or three months. And uh, also, we want to vaccinate our migrant worker a little bit. So surveillance, uh, I already mentioned in the morning session, I, I hope you were all there, that we have implemented uh, RDT-based uh, diagnosis in our uh, national diarrhea surveillance. And we have developed the RDT testing protocol. So, uh, and we have provided the training, as Sar mentioned already, that we have provided more than 1,200 uh, healthcare workers were trained on this. But now we need to monitor them if they are uh, doing the RDT testing, if they are reporting properly. Uh, as I mentioned, we are a very small team. It will be hard, but we'll try and. We'll welcome any support from GTFCC on that matter. Uh, but we'll uh, continue updating and uh, strengthening our surveillance system. Uh, case management, uh, I already mentioned that we have a very good case management system in Bangladesh. Uh, probably because we are aware of cholera for more than 300 years. <laughs> That's probably the reason. But uh, we are uh, continuously trying to uh, better our case management, especially the antibiotic uh, uh, management. Uh, I, I know I was seeing a presentation on the case management working group uh, on that. And what I think, like what we did, it should be not cholera management, it should be diarrhea management as a whole. Because clinicians, they don't treat patients as cholera. They treat mostly as patient as acute watery diarrhea. So we are we provided guidelines and training as such, but obviously thinking cholera as mine. And wash, uh, it's, a, it's always a difficult thing, but we are trying to use these uh, hotspots for uh, uh, better engagement of wash partners in those hotspots. And this is a great opportunity for us. So we'll increase our collaboration with uh, public health engineering and other departments like WASHA, City Corporation, all that. So as I already mentioned, the fifth HPNSP will have a separate program for diarrheal diseases with uh, uh, hopefully some increased allocation of funds. And we will soon have some partners meeting priorities in our activities and with NCCP. These are some pictures that for last six, seven months, we participated in some training. We did uh, some meetings in Bangladesh. Uh, you can see one meeting from, uh, I, I think it's in IPH, about the uh, training. Uh, our training and uh, the below one is our uh, recent OCV campaign in Bhashanchor and uh, that one is our hotspot validation workshop and also some activities from WASH. Uh, I think we took more time than uh, required. Uh, sorry that and thank you everyone.